back to my channel and if you are new here my name is Barbie and this is my daughter Yaya. Hi. You guys know who Yaya is. I always talk about her on my videos and finally she is joining me and we are going to show you guys a haul. We went to Home Goods, TJ Maxx and Burlington Co Factory and we went shopping to buy things for her as she is now officially transitioning into her gluten-free lifestyle. So we just spent the day together all day. We shopped. Um, it was the, our first outing after she's officially gone gluten-free. We actually went to eat. Um, we went to In-N-Out because they do offer gluten-free. You can have the protein style burger and you can have the animal fries or just the fries. You just have to let them know that you are gluten-free and they will actually go let them know in the back before they start cooking that you have a gluten allergy. And she didn't feel, you didn't feel sick after, right? No, no she didn't feel sick. Um, so happy that that went pretty smooth. And so we had a fun day, right? Yeah. So we shopped all day. And so we're gonna show you guys what we got. A lot of this stuff is just kitchen stuff that we're replacing because um, we need to because of the cross-contamination in the house and things we've been using with gluten that we needed to get new things. Um, so little by little, we're going to be um, getting new stuff for her, right? So, okay. So some food goodies that we found were these cookies. We found these Goody Girl cookies. And first we found these at Home Goods. Oh, well, yes. First, we found um. them at Whole Foods um, a few weeks ago. We went, um, she, you had found them online though, right? On social media? On Instagram. Yeah, she found them on Instagram. So um, we looked them up and so we went to Whole Foods and they had like all flavors pretty much, right? They had a, all of them, but they're pretty pricey. They were like almost $6, like $5 and 50 cents or something like that. So we bought one to try, or one or two? One. One. We bought one to try it out and they were super good. We bought the like the a birthday cake. Yeah, like the birthday cake sandwich and it was super good just like regular um sandwich cookies. So today we went to Home Goods first um and we found the mint cookie ones. So we picked up two boxes and the best part was that they're only 2.99. So pretty good. So we picked up two of those at Whole Foods and then then after Whole Foods we went to um, TJ Maxx is where we went and they had even more at TJ Maxx and they had different flavors so we picked up a uh, toffee crunch cocoa slims and double chocolate chip so she's gonna have cookies for a while <laughs> So in $2.99 each, so not bad at all. Then another thing that we um, that was suggested and one of the, the dietitian that she will be working with, which she is awesome and she happens to have celiac also. She has an Instagram page. Um, it's it's um, the underscore celiac underscore space. Um, and she's wonderful. And one tip that she recommended is for sponges in the kitchen that um to have like different color sponges to know which one is which that way it doesn't get confused which one's which so i bought this little three pack i picked it up at tj maxx um for her um for her um dishes to be washed only with whatever color we're using and then we'll have a different color for the rest of the dishes um then these are just little random items i picked up some more clips for the house i always like to keep this I always pick them up and I have tons of them just to clip the bags, you know, close them up once we open them. Um, these spoons we picked up, I picked them up. It's a three pack. They're tied together, but I think it, it brings one that it's got the holes like this, one little holes like that. And then the one in the middle is just solid. And these I picked up at Sam's. They were only four dollars and 88 cents i think and these are like in the like in the industrial area like the like cooking area but like for restaurants so pick these up because what i've learned or what i've read is that once you use something plastic on gluten you shouldn't use it again if you're going gluten free but you can wash away on on stainless steel right or glass but on plastic it's not recommended so i picked these up 
um, at Home Goods, Yaya picked these. You can show them. Yeah, <laughs> she picked up some um, measuring cups, and these were super cute with that um, gold, like that rose gold, and some measuring spoons because all the ones I have are plastic, and some of them are pretty old. So that's another thing. If it's plastic and it's like scraped or it's old, it's just better to change it and not just not take the chance to cross contaminate that because that can make her sick. Um, so at Whole Foods, not Whole Foods, um, Home Goods, I got this um, Turner or spatula or whatever it's called for her because um, she makes herself eggs every morning so she can have her own one because we have a, a couple of these but they're old and some of them are like even a little burnt so bought her a different color than the ones we have so she can have her own um what else did we get at home goods um home goods okay another food item at home goods we picked up this um i don't even know how to pronounce that brand shegra shegra but it's salt and vinegar cassava chips um, and we like cassava, it's super good. So, and it says there it's gluten free. So we picked up this, it was $4.99. Um, and I find that whole, um, I keep trying to say whole foods, home goods or TJ Maxx or those stores, they always have like some um, interesting finds on food, like gluten free stuff. Um, so we picked that up. Um, yeah, we also picked these up at um, home goods. And these are just, I've seen these on another YouTube channel. Um, and it's just, they're, I think I've seen them at Target too, but they were cheaper there. They're only $1.99. They say that they're BPA free, they're Whole30 compliant. Um, and I'm pretty sure they gotta be gluten free because all it is is water, organic lemon juice, um, organic mixed berry, and um, it says other natural flavors. So that that's right, kind of iffy right there. But she had some, she tasted it and didn't, you know, she didn't feel like she had any reaction to it. But I just wanted to try it. So I'll probably give them to Fernando and see if he likes them. It doesn't have any sugar or anything. It's just like flavored water. So pick that up. Um, we were actually on the hunt for the Jordan Skinny syrups because that is what we use. That's what my dad, Diego uses every morning for his lattes and that is, she doesn't like them. She, th she, she thinks they're too sweet, um, but everybody else likes them at the house. So we were out of like the salted caramel, the vanilla, and all kind, all the favorite flavors. Um, we keep quite a variety of flavors, but I couldn't find any. The only one I found was pumpkin, pumpkin caramel at TJ Maxx. So I picked this up. You tired? Yeah. So, um, and these are gluten free. The all the Jordan skinny syrups are gluten free. So I picked that up. Um, at Burlington Coat Factory, we picked up some more utensils for the kitchen and these are the Cuisine Art um, brand. And these were only $2.99. So I picked up like a spaghetti one, like to pick up pasta. This one, yeah. And another turner or spatula. We picked these up. And I'll, what I'll do is I'll probably start um, just make to make it easy for myself since I'm the one that cooks in the house. The most I'll just start changing them because anyways all the cooking that I do like for us it's gluten free without thinking about it because I'm changing a lot of the seasonings making sure those are gluten free but like rice beans and the meats I'm cooking them gluten free just to make it easy on myself um, and so that she can eat you know whatever I'm cooking and she doesn't feel left out so I bought those and I did get her her own pizza cutter that way, you know, she can, we'll, we'll find another drawer. I'm gonna empty one of the drawers and put all her stuff there. Um, because of course the other pizza cutter, it's been used and used with um, regular pizza. So got her her own. And at Burlington Co. Factory, they're super affordable. Like all these, they were only $2.99 each. And the pizza cutter, it was only $3.99 for, for that. Um, and we also got, 
this for her at Burlington Co Factory, her own colander. So she can, you know, when she's making her pasta or if she's using it to wash out, um, you know, whatever. I don't know, whatever she's using it for. I have a bigger one that I bought at Ikea that I'm going to be using only for fruit. So that it hasn't been used with anything else that I'll wash out the fruit in that. But this one will be just for her. Um, and then we got this also at Home Goods. It's just an 8 inch frying pan. Um, that's another thing if the frying pans, if they're scratched or anything like that, and you've cooked um, food that has gluten in them, it's recommended to just replace them. So I picked this up, and this was only $9.99. So it's that. Um, when shall that? Yeah, so we got her her own um, griddle because we have one that we've used, you know, I've had it for a couple of years already. So it even has some, you know, it's, you know, it's not all scratch, but it has some, some wear and tear. And of course we've made regular pancakes on them and not all that stuff. So just bought her her own so that she can heat up tortillas in this or her flour <coughs> tortillas, the, um, the her gluten-free flour tortillas or if she wants to make she's not a fan of pancakes that much no she's not but if she ever wants to eat something like that you know we'll just make it on these or if she wants to make a grilled cheese or um that's more of her alley <laughs> <laughs> if she wants to make a grilled cheese or quesadillas or something like that you know she has her own for that and also we got some um cutting boards we're gonna be replacing or for now these will be probably just for you and then I'll probably just end up replacing the other ones we have because that's another thing. If the cutting boards, you know, things like that where it can get really scratched, if they put like bread on it, you know, it's really hard to get the gluten off. It's all, I've read that it's almost impossible to get it off. So just to be safe, I went ahead and bought some cutting boards that will only be for her. Um, and then I think that is all we got. And then just picked up some dry shampoo because I live on dry shampoo all week long. I only wash my hair like once or twice a week. So picked that up at um, TJ Maxx. It, that's where it's always cheaper. Uh, it's $8.99 for this huge can. I think Target is like $5.99 or something like that for like half the, almost half the size. So it's always, I always get it at TJ Maxx. And oh, and I picked myself up this very cozy my cardigan very very warm and soft and it's a neutral color um it's always cold here in california with the exception of right now we're <laughs> hot right now <laughs> it's really hot right now i don't even know what the temperature is but if we go outside it's probably nice and cool yeah. but here in the house it's pretty warm but here in california it's always cold it's at all it's always in the 50s in the morning and then it warms up um but um yeah we pretty much wear long sleeves all year round it's very it's a very short period of time in the year where it gets really hot usually what they call here indian summer like in september and october we get some heat waves coming in when we're miserable when they come in because there's no central cooling here um in the majority of the houses so it gets when it's hot it can get pretty hot but luckily they don't last very long it's just a few days of hot weather where i'm super cranky and miserable because i can't i can't deal with the heat right yeah we're super uncomfortable those days but then it goes away and um i always say i'm not going to complain about the cold anymore because i'd rather be cold and bundled up than being hot so so yeah oh one more thing we got diego <laughs> this um Lunch cooler box. lunch this will be his new lunch box because the one he has is kind of old so and he takes quite a lot of food so this should be pl plenty of space for him um but i've been on the hunt for something for him and this was only 12.99 and i sent them a picture of, we ha i had seen this one and another one and it has a little pocket in here he can put his tabasco in here and like napkins and his um, fork and stuff but yeah I sent them a picture and he said this he liked this one so pick them up this one he takes like he takes his breakfast he takes his snack he takes his lunch he takes more, more snacks, snacks more snacks um 
he'll you know bend fruit so that'll be you know that'll fill up so okay so that is it you have anything else to say how do you feel Good. about this whole transition are you finally excited <coughs> that you get to like start and hopefully start feeling better soon i'm excited yeah something new so and yeah I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you heard her she's excited and she's gonna start working with her dietitian um i think she's scheduled her first or she's next about, friday yeah next friday she has her first official a meeting with her or a session with her she's gonna guide her through the whole transition like help her um, make good choices you know how to eat better so that she can allow her gut to heal and everything and oh and she had her um, endoscopy on Thursday um, that went pretty good um, it went pretty good they said that everything looked good um, at a plain sight everything looked good but um, they took samples of like five different places to send to biopsy. So we should be getting the results of that this coming week. Mm -hmm. um, now there, uh, there is a possibility, there's always a chance that the biopsy can come back negative. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that she doesn't have it. It could be that, you know, there was no damage and they couldn't, you know, cause I think that's what they're looking for. They're looking for any damage in the intestine. So if there is no damage in the intestine, well, it could be that, you know, thank God that there is no damage. But um, definitely the symptoms, they all, you know, are in line with celiac and her blood work was positive for that. So regardless of what the biopsy says, um, she's gonna transition over and go forward with that. And that's what the doctor said too, right? That, you yeah. know, after the, the endoscopy she told her you know start her gluten-free um lifestyle so yeah so yeah. this we're excited and happy that you know we've had a long time since july it was she was diagnosed two days after her her birthday, birthday. Yeah. yeah in july um and we've had a couple months now almost a couple months now to think about it and everything like a month and a half now yeah. yeah to think about it and read a lot about it and i guess mentally get prepared so this last couple of weeks it was just a matter of like okay we really want to start already and i think you the last two days the day you had the endoscopy on thursday yesterday friday and today would be three days in a row where you've had no gluten yeah and how have you felt have you felt any difference um I've slept less throughout the day, these past three days, <clears throat> and there's still stomach pain and like nausea, but I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, but that was like one of the biggest um, things with her, you know, every time she would eat gluten, is it would knock her out. It would be like taking a sleeping pill. She yeah. would be eating and she would start like, like you can just see her like dozing off and like super tired and as soon as she would be done eating she would go to sleep and she hasn't been like that the last couple of days and the stomach pain that can take a while to go away you know it's not gonna heal overnight um but the, the but there's some things that she's felt better about so yeah. okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video um give it a big thumbs up if you did subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Bye.